Hey Wildcat fans, time for another one of our player interviews brought to you by CBI Health Centers in New Minus and in Berwick. And today I'm standing by with the Wildcats number 20, Riley McGinnis. Riley, thanks so much for talking to me. Thanks for having me. Now, you're one of the uh, the old pros of this. Uh, I talk to all the players uh, every year to have these interviews up on our YouTube channel, and I think this is the third time that you and I have done this. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, tell me, uh, refresh my memory a little bit, tell people who don't know you, where you played before coming to the Wildcats. Oh, I grew up in Truro, played uh, Truro minor hockey, and uh, midget I went over to Pictou, that's where we go. Yeah. And uh, from there, I played one year there and ended up here, and I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, you were a second overall pick coming to the MHL, right? Yeah. So you came in early, you obviously still could have played midget, but... Yeah, I had a couple years in midget. Yeah, well, how did the decision turn out for you? I'm happy. Like, That's good. And, like, might not have the best couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's getting better. Like, uh, you see a change. And, uh, yeah, well, you know, you and I are some of the only people that have been here throughout the, when the team yeah. has been really bad and, and coming into this year. And, you know, you're right. You can see things changing around the team. Uh, you know, tell me about... Uh, just this year with uh, Brandon Benedict coming on board and, and what's that that's meant to, to change the, the whole everything around the team this year? Yeah, well, like, I've had uh, almost a new coach every year we've been here. And, True. Uh, Brand, Brandon's awesome. He's great with the boys. He knows what he's doing. Like, uh, I got nothing bad to say. Well, that's good. <laughs> he might see this, so you don't want to say yeah, anything bad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Very good. Uh, you know, tell me about uh, about your game. What are the skills that, uh, that you bring to the ice? I just do what I can and I work my hardest. That's about it. Yeah. I help the boys out. I love playing with them. You're definitely somebody who goes hard after the puck every single uh, time on the you get out on the ice. You know that that led to some good stuff tonight for you. Try to. Uh, uh, I know uh, we ended up on the, the wrong side of the scoreboard. This being recorded just after a 4-3 uh, overtime loss to uh, Amherst. But, you know, the key there in overtime was very close uh, all the way through. And as you say, you can start to see things on the ice. As you guys have played almost the full season together. Still a very young team, a lot of rookies. You know, tell me about all these new guys integrating into the team. Oh, well, like next couple of years, we could have uh, a lot of potential for sure. We've got a lot of great young hockey players that are, I think, want to be here for as long as they can. That's good. Uh, uh, you know, I'd like to hear that. I'd like to hear that. Uh, finally, just, uh, you know, we know about you on the ice. We see you here at the rink. Uh, what about off the ice? You know, what do you like to do for fun when you're not on the ice? I like to be outdoors. Hunting, fishing, four-wheeling, whatever. Nice. Uh, like, I don't like spending my time on the coach playing video games. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there's certainly a lot of guys that go that way, so. Yeah, well, for sure. <laughs> I, I, I won't ask you, uh, you know, who's the best at NHL online or anything. Oh, well, he's be yeah, up there with uh, Sam, Sam Grant, Chad. <laughs> All the boys love it. They're yeah. always playing. But not you. No, not me. I couldn't turn the system on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, best of luck on the ice this season, Riley. Thanks a lot. That's number 20, Riley McKinnis, Valley Junior A Wildcats.